Welcome to our video on the remarkable life of Pasquale Paoli, the iconic figure in Corsican history. Known as the father of Corsican independence, Paoli led the fight against foreign domination and worked tirelessly to establish a self-governing Corsican state. From his early involvement in the struggle against the Genoese to his presidency and eventual exile, Pauli's story is one of resilience, determination, and unwavering commitment to his people's freedom. Join us as we delve into the life and legacy of this influential Corsican leader. Early years, Pasquale Pauli was born on April 6, 1725, in the town of Stretta in Corsica, which was then under Genoese rule. He came from a prominent Corsican family with a long history of resistance against foreign domination. Pauli's father, Jacinto, was a prominent leader in the Corsican independence movement. From a young age, Pauli showed great intellectual and leadership potential. He received a comprehensive education, studying literature, philosophy, and law. Pauli was deeply influenced by Enlightenment ideas and the principles of republicanism, which fueled his passion for freedom and self governance. At the age of 15, Pauli witnessed the brutal repression of a revolt by Genoese forces, which further solidified his commitment to liberating Corsica from foreign control. Inspired by the ideals of liberty and independence, Pauli joined the armed resistance movement and quickly rose to prominence as a skilled military strategist and charismatic leader. President of Corsica Pasquale Pauli's first presidency of Corsica began in 1755 and lasted until 1769. During this period, Pauli implemented a series of reforms and led the Corsican Republic in its quest for independence from Genoa. As the general of the Corsican nation, Pauli aimed to establish a democratic and independent Corsican state. He initiated significant political and social reforms, including the drafting of a constitution known as the Corsican Constitution of 1755. This constitution granted political rights to the Corsican people, established a representative government, and promoted the separation of powers. Under Pauli's leadership, Corsica experienced a period of relative stability and progress. He focused on strengthening the economy, modernizing agriculture, and improving education. Pauli implemented land reforms that aimed to distribute land more equitably among the Corsican population, empowering small landowners and reducing the influence of the aristocracy. Pauli also built a strong military force to defend Corsica from external threats. He organized a disciplined army and successfully repelled several Genoese and French invasions. Pauli's military strategy and tactical skills earned him respect and admiration both within Corsica and abroad. The French invasion, the French invasion of Corsica occurred in 1768 and marked a turning point in the island's history. At the time, Corsica was under the leadership of Pasquale Pauli, who had been serving as the general of the Corsican nation and leading the fight for Corsican independence, the French, led by General Marquis de Chauvelin, launched a large-scale military campaign to assert their control over Corsica. They aimed to bring Corsica under French rule and eliminate the independent Corsican Republic that Pauli had established. Despite being outnumbered and facing superior French forces, Pasquale Pauli and his Corsican troops put up a fierce resistance. They utilized guerrilla warfare tactics, knowledge of the island's terrain, and their determination to defend Corsican independence. Under Pauli's leadership, the Corsicans fought valiantly, inflicting significant casualties on the French army and winning several battles. Pauli's military strategy and organizational skills were instrumental in keeping the resistance alive. However, the French forces gradually gained the upper hand due to their superior resources and reinforcements. They besieged key Corsican strongholds and gradually pushed the Corsican resistance back. In 1769, after a year of intense fighting, the French ultimately emerged victorious. Pauli was forced into exile, marking the end of his active role in the fight for Corsican independence. The French annexed Corsica and imposed their rule over the island, effectively ending the Corsican Republic. The French authorities sought to suppress Corsican culture, traditions, and political autonomy. The first exile, following the French invasion and the loss of Corsican independence, Pasquale Pauli was forced into exile in 1769. The first phase of his exile saw him seek refuge in various European countries, 
where he continued to advocate for Corsican independence and build alliances to support his cause. Initially, Pauli sought refuge in Britain, where he received a warm welcome and support from influential figures who sympathized with the Corsican struggle for freedom. Pauli engaged in diplomatic efforts, forging alliances and seeking assistance for a possible return to Corsica. During his time in exile, Pauli became an important figure in European political circles. He was seen as a symbol of resistance against foreign domination and attracted the attention of prominent intellectuals and political leaders. In addition to his diplomatic activities, Pauli continued to champion the cause of Corsican independence through his writings and speeches. He authored political tracts, delivered speeches at various European forums, and engaged in correspondence with like-minded individuals who shared his vision for Corsican self-determination. Despite his efforts, Pauli's return to Corsica remained elusive during this first phase of exile. However, his resilience, charisma, and unwavering commitment to the cause ensured that the flame of Corsican nationalism continued to burn, inspiring future generations to carry on the fight for independence. It was during this period of exile that Pauli laid the groundwork for the eventual resurgence of the Corsican nationalist movement. He cultivated relationships with key figures, established networks of support, and contributed to the intellectual and political development of the Corsican national identity. President of the Department of Corsica, during the French Revolution, Pasquale Pauli's name became a symbol of liberty and democracy. In 1790, the French National Assembly passed a decree that incorporated Corsica into France, similar to what had been done in 1780 but under new authority. This decree granted amnesty to exiles, and Pauli immediately returned to Corsica. He arrived in time for the election of departmental officers in Orezza, where he ran for president and was unanimously elected. Napoleon Bonaparte, who organized the elections, was also an admirer of Pauli. At the time, Napoleon was on leave from his artillery regiment and working on a history of Corsica. He reached out to Pauli for his opinion and requested historical documents. However, their differences soon became apparent. Pauli found Napoleon's history amateurish and overly passionate, leading him to refuse the requested documents. At this point, Napoleon was unaware of Pauli's connections to the British monarchy or his moderate and sympathetic views towards royalty. President of the British Protectorate, Pasquale Pauli disagreed with the French Revolution when they executed the king, so he sided with the Royalist Party. While keeping his views secret, when the revolutionary government ordered him to take Sardinia, he secretly instructed his nephew to intentionally lose the conflict. He acted as a British agent because the British had an interest in Sardinia that they could not pursue if it was occupied by the French, however, Pauli also sent Napoleon Bonaparte, then a colonel, with Corsican guards to participate in an attack on La Maddalena Island in February 1793. The attack failed due to poor military action, reinforcements on the island, and the defenders being well prepared for the assault. Napoleon assumed command during the confrontation, but the failed attack caused him and his family to denounce Pauli as a traitor to the French National Convention. Arrest warrants were issued, and forces were sent to Corsica to take control from the royalists who had replaced the Genoese. In response, Pauli convened an assembly in Corte in 1793, formally seceded from France, and sought the protection of the British government, which was at war with revolutionary France. The British sent Admiral Samuel Hood's fleet in 1794 to provide assistance. For a short period, Corsica became a protectorate of King George III, known as the Anglo-Corsican Kingdom. However, the relationship between Pauli's government and the British was unclear, and questions of authority arose. Eventually, Pauli was asked to resign and return to exile in Britain, which he did with a pension. Shortly after, the French reconquered Corsica, and Corsican sovereignty came to an end until the 20th century. Second Exile and Death after resigning and returning to exile in Britain, Pasquale Pauli lived there for several years. During this time, he maintained connections with Corsican exiles and continued to advocate for Corsican independence. However, he faced financial difficulties and struggled to find support for his cause. In 1807, with the fall of Napoleon Bonaparte's regime, Pauli saw an opportunity to return to Corsica. 
he hoped that the political landscape had shifted in favor of Corsican self-rule. Pauli returned to Corsica and was warmly received by the people, who still held him in high regard. However, his hopes for a successful comeback were short-lived. The political situation in Corsica had changed, and the French authorities were not willing to grant him any significant power or influence. Pauli was essentially marginalized, and his influence waned, Pasquale Pauli spent the remainder of his life in relative obscurity and disillusionment. He lived quietly in Corsica, focusing on his personal affairs and writing memoirs. He passed away on February 5, 1807, in his hometown of Morisalia, Corsica, although Pauli's dream of Corsican independence was not realized during his lifetime, his legacy as a national hero and advocate for liberty and self-determination lives on. He is remembered as a symbol of Corsican identity and resistance against foreign domination. In conclusion, Pasquale Pauli's life was marked by his unwavering commitment to the cause of Corsican independence. From his early involvement in the struggle against Genoese rule to his presidency and subsequent exiles, Pauli remained a steadfast leader and symbol of resistance. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.